I am definitely a gear and gadget freak. I just love checking out all the stuff that people take with them when they go camping and hiking. And my son and I just returned from our 10 day Utah to Colorado adventure and it was so amazing. And so today I'm gonna share with you some of the stuff we took with us that we were really thankful to have. Stay tuned. Welcome to Trail Recon, I'm Brad, and today on this episode, I'm gonna share with you the camping gear my son and I packed in the back of the Jeep for our 10-day off-road adventure. It was so amazing, and we were really thankful to have all of this gear with us because it all got a lot of use. Now, what I will do is I'm gonna show you the sleeping quarters that we had because my son and I actually slept in two different places. We're gonna talk about refrigerators and cooking and storage and chairs all kinds of stuff I think you'll find very interesting. And I will leave a link down below, guys, if you wanna check any of this stuff out. It is all listed in the Trail Recon Amazon shop. Link down below. If you see something here, guys, go over there and check it out. All right, let me show you the tents that we slept in. When you are out on a multi-day camping trip, getting a good night's rest is really, really important. And my son and I talked a little bit about our sleeping arrangements in advance on kind of what we wanted to do. And we made the decision to bring two different tents. So what we brought was the rooftop tent, which I've had for about nine months. And I will be doing, guys, a full-blown review of this after one year. I want to give it that full year before we get down to the nitty-gritty. But I was really thankful to have this. You know, it mounts easily on the top of the Jeep. It weighs about 100 and 16 pounds and I noticed it a little bit on some of the obstacles when we were out on the trail but really it was perfect and set up sleeping in it all of it oh it was really really nice now this is a two to three man tent and honestly it's pretty cozy for two adults and that's why we made the decision for my son to have his own sleeping place while we were out camping and so we brought a four man Kelty Arcadia tent with a Coleman cot which worked out perfectly for him. The setup of this tent was really, really quick and the cot super fast and he was very comfortable the entire trip. And the funny thing was, is when I was breaking down the rooftop tent, which breaks down pretty fast, he was done in about the same amount of time. So it didn't slow us down at all. And it was really nice just having our own space. We were very thankful that we made the decision to bring two tents. Now, let's take a look at some of the other gear that we brought with us. Now let's talk a little bit about food storage and what we use to cook with. You know, I was in the military for 26 years and I've eaten plenty of MREs and I also used to do a lot of backpacking and have had my share of rehydrated meals and I'm glad those days are behind me. Having a good meal when we are out on the trail now is really important. So what we have here is the Dometic 40 liter fridge and I was so thankful to have this with us. You know, it was 103 degrees in Moab and to be able to take a cold drink out in that heat was really nice. Plus, we kept all our fruits and vegetables, you know, our meats and cheeses. Everything we needed was cooled all day long. It was perfect. And now I only run a single battery on my Jeep and I was a little concerned that maybe I was gonna drain the battery. Never an issue. I ran this thing every night, all night at camp, no problems. Now, we were only at camp for maybe eight or nine hours each night, so it wasn't like I was running it for 24 hours without the Jeep turned on, but no issues with that whatsoever. The only thing I wish I would have done is installed the slider for this. That would have made things a little easier. I have it now and I will be installing that very soon. Now let's talk about the cooking gear that I brought. We have a Coleman Triton stove and I actually just upgraded to this stove maybe a year or two ago and I'm glad I did. I had one and I had an old Coleman stove for, I don't know, 15 years and it was a little tired so it was nice to finally upgrade this. What I like about this one is it's really easy to clean and we took two sets of the Stanley cooking pans that come with some really cool stuff here. It's got a little cutting board. It's got the handle that folds out. It keeps it nice and cool so you don't burn your hand. It's got a little uh, it's like a silicone pad that you can use there. It comes with two sporks. It comes with a spatula that you just kind of piece together, which is really nice. We use that a lot. And then in here, there are 
a couple plates, which is really nice. You know, I don't like taking paper plates because that adds to trash. This was nice just to have plates we could just clean. And these got a lot of use. You know, one of these we would cook our, you know, our meats in, and the other one, you know, we would cook our vegetables or potatoes or whatever. It was really nice having both of these. They got a lot of use. They cooked really evenly on the stove, so I was actually really happy with that. Also, what we have here is, you know, we had to have our coffee in the morning, and so we had these little coffee cups, and these come in this little Stanley pot here. It only comes with one cup, but we have multiple of these, and uh, so we just brought this plus the two cups here, which worked out really well. This has got a little strainer on it, so if you wanted to do some noodles or something like that, you could strain the noodles. It's really a nice little handy guy to have, uh, and having these cups was really nice. Plus, I've got these Sea to Summit bowls, and I love these bowls. These are like a silicone bowl, but they collapse, which makes it really easy to pack. You know, you don't have a big old bulky bowl packed in your back of your Jeep, which is really nice. Also, if you're bringing your dog with you, getting him a set of these is really nice for water, and those just collapse right down. So, Rocket really likes his bowl like that. And then the important thing for me, guys, is to have a good coffee percolator. Now, I didn't get to percolate as much coffee as I wanted on this trip. We actually drank a little more instant coffee just because we were on the move quite often. Uh, but I have made plenty of percolated coffees in this and I love it. And if you just want to heat some water or whatever, for whatever reason, this is a great little setup here. So this worked out really well for us. Now, let's take a look at a couple other things. Now let's talk about water. And I will say my son and I went through more water than I expected. You know, I said, mentioned that it was really hot in Moab and we were hydrating the entire time. But then when you are, you know, washing and you're doing some dishes, you don't really realize just how much water you need. So I was thankful that we packed, these are Roto Packs. These are a 1.75 gallon. I brought three of these and we would go through at least two of these per day. So having good water storage is really important. And I like these things because they're thin, so they're easy to pack in the Jeep. You know, sometimes you get those big old bulky water jugs and they're just a little awkward. These are nice because you can just kind of tuck them in wherever they fit. And I like them because they have a little spigot on the end, which makes things really nice for pouring water. Just very convenient. You know, these are a little on the pricey side, but for me, these were an investment that I was very happy to invest in. I also brought this Nemo Helio, which is something I've had for a while and I was actually really happy with on the trail. Now, what you do is you fill this up and this holds about three gallons of water and there's a little spout here at the top and you fill this up and then it's got this little pump here and you basically just push your foot up and down. It pressurizes this whole container here and then you've got this little sprayer on the end which is really nice, especially for washing dishes, for washing your hand, for washing your hair. You can take a shower with this thing. Now, we weren't able to leave this out during the day and heat up but you can actually leave this up out during the day when you're at camp for a while and actually get the water hot in there which is really nice. This is a handy little guy. Now, it collapses really well, which is perfect for what we needed, so I liked that a lot. We did bring a water purifier. You know, we were along the Colorado River the entire time. We were in and out of town, though, often, so it was easy to fill up our water, but we brought this just in case we weren't able to do that. No problems, we didn't need to use that, but this is a great little water filter that I've had for a long time, and it always does an awesome job. Now, one thing that I got as soon as I got home that I wish I would have brought with me was this big old bucket that collapses, similar to those Sea to Summit ones. Marco had one of these, and man, he used that a lot for washing dishes and all kinds of stuff. I decided right as I got home, this was something that I wish we would have taken with me. So I've got it now, and this will be in the Amazon store, guys. Definitely go check it out. All right, let's talk about a couple of the electronics that we brought. So one of the goals for this entire trip was to film the adventure and film the trails. And so I bring a lot of camera gear, my laptop, and I was a little worried about how I was going to keep everything charged. But this guy right here, man, it did exactly what I needed to do. This is the Goal Zero Yeti 400 battery system. And I brought this, one, for my camera gear and my laptop, but two, I thought I might need this for the fridge. However, I didn't, but I can run the fridge off of this if I need to. But I, every day at camp, I was able to recharge all the batteries for all my camera gear, run my laptop, download everything. I was so thankful to have this. 
Now it comes with this charger. So during the day when we were out on the trail, I had this thing plugged into the Jeep and it was charging up all day. Now I do have a 50 watt solar panel that will charge this up, but I didn't bring this with me because I knew that we were only gonna be at camp at night. So that wasn't something I brought with me. But if we're gonna do some long-term camping, I'm bringing this guy, I'm setting it up uh, and keeping this thing going. I was really, really thankful to have this. It's got some weight to it, so that's something you need to take into consideration. But if you need to keep laptops or camera gear or whatever charged, that's a good option right there. We had several lights and I love these two lights. This is a Brilla and this is a great little light for just setting out on the table. Uh, you can also hang this inside your tent. It uses very, very little power. Uh, it's really perfect. It's got a magnet on the back here, so you can actually, you know, if you're working on the Jeep, you can throw this up under there and get some light. I love this little Brilla light. I've had, I don't know, I think we have three or four of these and we've had them for several years. I get a lot of use out of these. You gotta have a good headlamp, and so this is just a Petzl headlamp. Any headlamp will do, but I like the Petzls. These are good quality, put out great light. And now, Let's talk about this guy. So I mentioned that it was hot in Moab and it was hot at night. This is a little uh, Lilang fan and it's a USB charging. So I was able to charge this up using this every night. My son and I each had one of these. We would put them in our tent and blow directly on us and keep us nice and cool at night. These things would run all night long. I was very impressed. I thought, oh, you know, it'll run for a couple hours and then shut off and at least that'll allow me to get to sleep. I would wake up in the middle of the night and these things would still be running. So look, if you're gonna be going somewhere where it's hot, these things are a great option. Again, you just charge it up with the USB and they're really compact and they do the job well. I was very thankful to have these with us. Now let me talk about the table and chairs that we brought with us because I really love these guys. Now, these are a little bit of what you would probably classify as a luxury item, right? You could bring you know, the big old folding chairs and a plastic table if you want. But in the back of the Jeep, space is a premium. And so look, this is two chairs and a table that worked perfectly and they break down so small. Let me open these up and show you what they look like. So this Kelty table just takes just a couple minutes to set up and it's really easy. And once you've done it a couple times, it's super easy. So that just opens right up and then here's a couple crossbars that get locked in here and that gives it a little bit of support. Just like that. And then the table top locks into place. You kind of got to stretch it out a little bit and that gives you plenty of rigidity. And just like that, just that quick, you've got a table to set stuff on or put your chairs next to and have your drinks next to. You can even kick your feet up on here if you want. I love this little table. Very compact, very nice, very sturdy. I've had this for about two years. Let me show you the chair. All right, the chair also comes in a nice little pouch. It's a little more involved than the table to set up. You've kind of got this, I don't know, like a Christmas tree design. That's noisy, sorry guys. Um, put all these poles, they just kind of slide in here. I mean, really, it's, it's interesting that this big old chair comes in that little tiny package. And then you've just basically got these little pockets here that slide in to the little poles like that. Again, you gotta stretch it out just a hair, just to get it. There we go, just like that. And there's your chair, guys. And this thing is surprisingly comfortable. And it's very, very sturdy. I like these little chairs. I like the table. No complaints with me about these. Nice job, Kelty. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, everything we talked about today is listed on the new Trail Recon Amazon shop. So if you found something in the video that you wanna pick up, head over to the store. I will leave a link down below. You know, I love looking at folks' camping gear and I hope you enjoyed checking out some of the stuff we brought with us. Look, if you're visiting Trail Recon for the first time, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a member of the Trail Recon team. Thanks for watching.